Hey guys, a really quick video here because people have been having trouble with my other video uploading an, and updating an Excel using Flow because the Expression Builder has been released since that video was made and now we're having a bit of trouble finding how we enter the condition. So I've just done a copy of the workflow here. If I click into the condition, you can see the way that I normally do it, the way I did it on the video, my expression is here. I'm actually going to take this out and just edit in basic mode. And now this is what you see when you add a condition using the condition builder. If I click here, I could, for example, go to the expression, paste the expression, getting rid of the at at the front and OK that one. That would work. And then I just need to make it equal to true. So we go to expression again true you can't just type true unfortunately it has to be like this okay that one yeah so this would work my expression without the at is equal to true so this is one way to do it the other way to do it is you could use the expression builder in full to build my expression and this is done let's just get rid of this stuff this away So I go inside the choose a value of the condition window. I go to expression and uh, I know I wish this was like one click or something, but it really isn't. I'm going to expand where it says collection here because that gives me my empty. Fine. And then I want to add some dynamic content to my empty, which is the list of values. No, it wasn't. It was the value list of items. Sorry, I'm misleading you. Here we go. If you click on this one, and you see it's built the same expression that I had typed before. Okay, that one is equal to choose value. And once again, we're doing that thing where we want the true to become purple, which is here. Okay, that one there. So this would work too. So those are the two different ways that you can get the condition working now with Condition Builder. Hope that helps you. If you found today's video useful, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you feel like I could help you with your projects, then reach out.